Like you, I, I enjoy a good cup of coffee. And what better place to enjoy one than San Cristobal? In San Cristobal, almost all of the coffee is grown local and hand-picked, so you know it's gonna be good. Recently, I had the opportunity to go on a tour of a coffee plantation and see the process of growing these coffee plants and preparing the coffee beans. Let me show you how it went firsthand. In the morning, we were picked up by a truck full of our tour guide, uh, someone to cook us some food after a hike, the owner of the plantation uh -huh. and the driver. So me and two other friends made our way for roughly an hour and a half out to hike to this coffee plantation. I wouldn't mind a snack. Now the hike was one of the most beautiful hikes I think I've ever been on. The countryside in Chiapas, Mexico is truly just like second to almost none. I mean, it's beautiful green, it's a rainy season, so the colors were popping even more. Whoa, so you're gonna eat those? Apparently you eat we're I'm all gonna, gonna eat I'm gonna them. eat them, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was also not as prepared for the hike as I should have been. It was a little more intense than I thought. It's hot, I'm white. But we made our way for roughly 30 minutes to an hour to make it to the actual coffee plantation itself, where the owner and the cook that had come with us had set up shop and had begun to prepare us lunch. This is the hot sauce? It's spicy and I'm dying. I think I've ate more food than I ever have in my entire life. I might not make it out of here. <laughs> it's like very hot out, plus there's a fire inside that they're cooking all the food on. It's really, really, like this is probably one of the best things I've done in Mexico, so. They took us around and they showed us what it was like to actually grow these coffee plants and how they had to set up specific environments to make sure that they thrive. So making sure that there's bananas, mangoes, different plants that are growing taller than the actual coffee plant to protect it. So we have in this coffee plantation Arabica, <coughs> but yeah. the big leaf is from Marago, uh -huh. and the other one is for Caturra, Bourbon, or um, Mondo Novo. So you can identify the coffee with the leaves, with the branches, with the spaces, okay. and with the color. What do you think so far? I'm very full and very sleepy from eating like 10 quesadillas. This is really awesome. The hike down was not so bad. The hike up was a little more rough, especially on a full stomach. Made our way back, got a ride back into town in this truck. We actually rode in the back, which was a fascinating experience. And we went to the shop where they, they prepare, they roast, prepare, and sell these coffee beans. And I have to tell you, the coffee from these beans and the tea that they make from the fruit of this coffee was some of the best and most smooth coffee and tea I've ever had. They also made marmalade with the fruit and they just use every little single piece of the coffee, coffee plant itself, which is just amazing to me and it makes me really feel like that we should be doing this in other, other coffee farms as well. After visiting the coffee plantation, it gave me a very different perspective on where our coffee comes from and how it's made. And I think that every digital nomad who visits Chiapas or San Cristobal needs to go on one of these coffee plantation tours. I have a recommended tour in the notes below that I would highly, highly recommend you book with them. Book with Juan, he's a really, really great tour guide and he's gonna show you how the coffee is prepared and made. I'm Trevor Carlson of the Essential Digital Nomad. Be sure to check out our full coffee plantation guide on EssentialDigitalNomad.com like, subscribe, share this video maybe with a friend who likes coffee or is thinking of being a digital nomad in Mexico as well. And I look forward to you stopping by next time.